Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video. Um, I've tried making this particular pen out of two different acrylics, and they were both PR resins, and they just kept shattering. So I'm switching back over to my favorite material, ebonite. So this is going to be a mini fountain pen. Um, it's going to have a body that's going to be uh, one and three quarter inches overall length. It's going to have a uh, threaded on both sides, a threaded double tenon. So it's going to be postable. The cap is going to be two and three quarter inches long. And um, it's going to have a one inch section, a Joe number six, of course. And this is going to be a step down drill bit. And uh, this will be a nice, fun little project. Like I said, this is going to be postable, so even though it's going to be a small pen overall, lengthwise, uh, just over four inches, like four and a quarter inches, uh, when you take the cap off, it'll screw on the back, and uh, it'll feel like a normal size pen. So we're using a triple start thread tap and die. And we are using a cartridge refill, a single cartridge, which is right here. And um, since I already have a section already made from a previous pen, um, we're just going to go ahead and use this. So that'll make the video shorter. So we'll make the cap first. We'll step that down and then um, we will make the body afterwards. So first things first, we need to make sure that that end is nice and square. This is the uh, half of that blank that I talked about earlier, which was a PR Tiger Lily blank. And to do that step, um, I'm going to go to this first mark right here which is a half inch and then we'll clean it up with a 33 64 and then we'll finish it out with a 3 8 inch drill bit the rest of the way. Thirty-three sixty-fourths to this line. We're using a three-eighths inch drill bit going in two and a half inches. We're going to leave about a half inch on the back side to attach a clip. Like I said, we're going to be using a triple start uh, 14 millimeter uh, tap and die for this. This is made by Tapco, uh, 14 millimeter by 080. It's an HS GD 5 triple start. And I got this from Turner's Warehouse. If you're, uh, it's turnerswarehouse.com from Chad Schemmel. I don't know if he still has those or not, but that's where I got it. They're not cheap, but they're worth it. Some mineral oil in that. Okay, as you can see, that's threaded on that cap. That looks really good. And that is the bulk of our work other than turning this down to the same diameter and uh, just getting a nice little taper on that back end. 
but we're going to do the body first before we go to this. Okay, now we need to cut this down, and I want to do about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to just take my parting tool, go over twice, and then I'm going to cut that down 14 millimeters. That's marked with the outside of the tap so that I know that it's the perfect size to work with the die. I just want to relieve the front of that a little bit and then uh, re re relieve the back as well. Next step is to drill this out right here. This is an 11 30 seconds and it's going to bottom out leaving uh, room for that cartridge and the section 11 30 seconds by 1 and 3 8 inch deep. And I have my drill bit already marked right here for that depth. Now we're going to switch to an M10 by 075 tap to hold the section. Okay, off camera, I had done the back end. So we are pretty much done with the, the basic concept of the whole body. Now let's fit the cap. So this is the cap right here. This is where the section is going to go. So when that is closed, you can see the overall length of the pen isn't very long. If I add that section, you can see that body is really short. Of course, it looks a little uh, fat just because that hasn't been turned down to size yet. But once you put that cap on, now it becomes postable. Now it looks now it looks uh, more like the normal length of a pen. So, like I said, we're just going to turn this down here and then taper this a little bit. And then um, that'll go both ways like that. So if you didn't know what I was talking about, a mini fountain pen, you have the basic idea now. So the back end here is finished. We just need to, to make this whole body section a bit thinner. Okay, I'm going to shoot for about 16 millimeters uh, across right here and then taper it down. Now, um, this is the total length of the cap that I want. I didn't add uh, any room for um, a dimple to keep this secure as I was turning it. So I had to add on a sacrificial piece right here with some uh, medium CA. So no big deal. 
So we're just going to turn that and then when we get about here or so, then we'll start tapering it down. So if I look at the inside of this cap, I can see where it steps down. And from the end here, if I just go about an eighth of an inch beyond that, I'm okay right there. Not that, not that second line, so that first line. And then um, I can get a nice taper going all the way to the end. So this is a little thin right here, so I'm just going to cut this off with a saw, and then I'll come right back. Okay, I don't want to put any stress on the cap, because this is kind of thin right here. So I'm just going to use the Dremel and round that off. Um, I did some rough sanding to get some final shape going here and you can see how small this is even though that's a one inch section and you know that's like uh, seven eighths of an inch that Joe number six nib and if you're trying to write with it you can do it but it would be very awkward being so small unless you have some really small hands um, but once you put the cap on the back There, now you can see that that's much more comfortable and that is a little bit longer and than what you would normally have. That's the, the right length that I have for a cap though because I leave an extra half inch on that end so I can put a clip on there. But you get the basic idea of what that will look like. So this is pretty much the whole pen right here. So it's a mini fountain pen again triple start thread and then we'll just come back once we get uh this wet sanded and a uh, 50 caliber clip attached to that or you know um yeah i'm just going to use a 50 caliber clip uh just because i like using those and then uh you know, we'll polish the bottom of that also, so that'll look pretty sharp. Okay, we've made it to the end of the video. Um, I've had to remake this body and cap uh, for a second time off camera. And um, it's got really way too thin. I should have used the thicker ebonite uh, for the cap and not the body. But anyway, that looks pretty good. Um, we can make that postable, of course. So now you can see what that would look like. And, you know, like we said earlier, this does have a single cartridge for the section right there. Um, 
I would like to remake this with uh, a colored ebonite to see what that would look like or acrylic. Now I didn't make the cap with a, a clip on it. I think it would have been a little too much for being such a small pen. But if we take the cap from our black Japanese ebonite pen and we put that on there, which is also a triple start, you can see that that looks a little, a little too much. So put that on the back, make it postable. Looks like it being postable. Uh, a little too much, I think. If we go back like this, I think this looks better without the clip. And you, being that this is just a little pocket pen, it fits in your pocket um, without that clip. It's rather nice. So anyway, uh, if you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please continue or consider subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.